This conference will now be recorded. All right, welcome to 479 Spotlight, where we provide free promotion to local businesses and nonprofits in this case in NWA to give them more exposure and create more trust in the community. Overall, we want to provide an inside look to our uh, local businesses and uh, nonprofits, organizations, uh, and those heroes that keep NWA running. My name is Brock Holland, a small business owner in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and founder of 479 Spotlight. Today, we have Sherry Perry with Sherry Perry Ministries, Inc. in Bella Vista, Arkansas. And these interviews have two main focuses. First, we're going to address anyone that could use Sherry Perry's Ministries services. And then we'll be addressing any uh, potential either entrepreneurs or organ organizers that would like to perhaps start something like this or maybe get involved. Um, so Sherry, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, doing awesome. awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining us um, and Thank taking you. the time to share. Um, let's start with how long have you been doing Sherry Perry Ministries? Since 2015. Okay. It was, yeah, it really wasn't anything on my radar. It wasn't anything that we had planned. We, as when, when I say we, I mean my husband and I live here in Bella Vista. We had jobs. We were working. Everything was great. Um, mm -hmm. We got here before retirement so okay. we can enjoy the community and um, 2015 I sang someone's song in our church and um, I had known them since well they knew my family before I was even born okay and they sent me to Nashville so oh, okay okay well, let's let's start with um, who, who, who do you serve or who, who does Sherry Perry's ministries help in Northwest Arkansas well, um, <laughs> just to kind of lighten the mood, um, I have been the one to sing the Star Spangled Banner at the Weenie Dog Races here in Bella Vista. For okay, okay. Years. Um, I've sang the Star Spangled Banner for some golf tournaments for charities down here. Also okay. sang it at um, the Naturals game uh, when they had a Parkinson's Nikes. My mom and some family members are Parkinson's patients or have been. Um, so I, I do do that. I do go out and, and do um, charity events and help people raise money and um, for things that I believe in. But the main thing is, you know, I'm looking for events or churches that will let me come share music um, and a little word with them if, you know, whatever they want, five minutes or 50 minutes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, okay. Sorry, so... that was my doorbell. <laughs> That's okay. This is what this is all about. We're real people. We're just trying to, you know, make changes here in Northwest Arkansas. That's awesome. Um, now then, so what I'm hearing is, you know, you come in, you provide this awesome value. You, you sing, you provide yeah. also uh, a message if they would like to do that as well. Um, and you just make a an event, whether if it's like a, I'm going to say like another, um, I don't know, you actually, you tell me, what, what, what other events and, and things do you actually like serve and like been involved in? Um, I've been involved with uh, parades. Okay. Um, my hometown of Carthage, Missouri. Um, okay. I've been in the Maple Leaf Parade and then around the square after the parade when they have vendors and other people there, I've gone and, and actually performed. Um, okay. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, Sir Coxy, Missouri has Chief Sir Coxy Days is just a community event where um, they bring in a little carnival and they have vendors there. And so I go provide some music for them, okay. um, things like that. Um, I had, there's a small church that didn't have anybody to do music. So they called me and I, I went and did that for them. So. Awesome. 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 Okay. Um, so tell me, tell me how it works. Someone says, Hey, we really need someone to come in to either sing or, you know, provide a message. Like how do they either get in contact with you or, you know, work with you to make that happen? Then go to www.sherryperry.com. Sherry with an I, Perry with a Y. Right. Um, they can catch me on Facebook. I'm my personal one is Sherry Smith Perry. Then I have Sherry Perry Ministries page as well as a group so they can reach me there or they can call me 479-544-0150 or text okay. or text okay <laughs> fantastic well, that's super open i love that um that's going to be helpful for anybody there um okay awesome well let's let's i think we're going to get more out of talking more about your story and kind of where you kind of come from and why you're doing this so what you know made you want to start this nonprofit? um 
really you said you had normal lives before and then all of a sudden 2015 you yeah. said hey i need to do something different so tell me tell me how that started yeah we both had jobs just doing what everybody does you know you you get up you go to work you come home you go to church on the weekend and repeat you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and i i was invited to sing at an easter um, presentation in Rogers, Arkansas in 2015. And I sang a song that I'd known my entire life. I'm a preacher's kid. So church is okay. all I know. Okay. Um, not that I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the case at all. Um, but on the way home, I was like, where did that song come from? And so I did what everybody else did. I Googled, couldn't find it there. So then I went to Facebook and I found the daughter of the evangelist that I heard sing this song when I was a little girl and I had okay. just kept singing it because as a preacher kid, when your dad's the preacher and he says, I want you to sing this song, you just sing it. Mm. <laughs> so um, I contacted them. They were in their eighties at the time. They came down to Bella Vista. We visited for a weekend. She heard me sing and she said, I can't sing anymore. I can't travel anymore. I've written over 600 songs and I want them to keep going. So would you go wow. to Nashville? my songs so I mean you talk about it wasn't on my bucket list it wasn't on my radar at all and then when she said listen when when you have an opportunity we're, we're gonna go to Nash we're gonna call Nashville see if we know anybody there anymore mm -hmm. and when you do something you need to give back mm -hmm. so I found a couple of, of uh, groups that have needs that are supported by donations and so I give to those those organizations as well because they're dear to my heart. I had to really search and and look and think who you know who are the the ones that don't get federal funding? Who are the ones that rely on donors? So um, I've I've been able to do that and I've always kept in my head they told me don't go to Nashville and think you're something else because you're not go to Nashville, you're Sherry. When you come home, you're Sherry. So that has been something that has been, has kept me grounded, I guess. Sure. So 2015 was crazy, um, right. but it was wonderful. I did things that I never dreamed of. Um, and then I just, out of last February, right before COVID hit, um, I was, I signed with an agent that reached out to me from Nashville. Um, so I've signed, I'm, I'm a, I'm with them for two years now because COVID. <laughs> yeah, and, I was about to ask, like, how, how did COVID go? Like with all oh, of this, I'm sure it was slower I mean, or maybe you were more busy. I, I don't know. They shut down. I mean, churches yeah. shut. And, you know, when a pastor can have people in their church, why bring in a singer when he can, you know, when he can use social media to reach his regular parishioners? So, um, yeah, all my events, most, I should say, most of my events were canceled. I think I had three events last year. Mm -hmm. Um, and one of, one of them was before COVID. So, right. um, it was, it was something that nobody saw coming. So right. you, I wasn't prepared for it, but it did give me the opportunity to go back to Nashville. Um, but going back to record my new album, um, was rescheduled several times. Like we're talking sure. five, six times because of COVID. Musicians, right. you know, weren't, they wanted to be in the studios working, but they couldn't if right. if they couldn't get a session or right. if they had, COVID, you know, so. Um, yeah, so what other pivots, you know, did you make? You, you found yourself in a situation where you couldn't really do what you used to be able to do. You're trying to do this, you know, recording, um, you know, I guess, how did you overcome the challenge is kind of, press forward what what happened yeah I just honestly um, not everybody will want to hear this but honestly I just prayed and I just said here we are I don't I don't know what else to do so who do you go to you go mm -hmm. to God mm -hmm. um, and he just opened some doors and of course when I do events most of the time um, they just they just give me a, a, a love offering is what they call it. I don't, I don't charge for tickets. I don't say, here's my base, but you know, I have to have this much before I'll come. Yeah. Um, so I, I take what comes in and I sell CDs and that's it, you know? Okay. Um, so I, I did. And out of, I, I shouldn't say out of the blue, but I don't know what else, what other term to use, but 
someone in in Northwest Arkansas, um, Bella Vista actually called and said, I I want to give you some money. Oh, wow. um, there you go. And they showed up at my house and honest to Pete, it was exactly the amount I needed to finish my recording in Nashville oh, wow. to the, to the sure. penny, literally. So, um, yeah, that's sometimes things just happen and you have to be thankful for them and, and be, be wise, um, with what God gives you and, awesome. and just go. So. Well, I don't, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I particularly don't necessarily believe in consequences. So I think everything happens for mm -hmm. a reason. So awesome. Um, so right now things are starting to kind of open back up. Uh, so things are moving forward. What's kind of, what are you doing? What's your number one way of, you know, getting bookings and, um, you know, getting yourself out there? What are you doing right now? Well, right now, um, actually tomorrow I'm leaving for Nashville. Okay. going to go down, down with my, my uh, agent. We're going to, work out a plan. Um, I just had my new CD arrive at the house and tomorrow it's going to be able, you'll be able to download it on iTunes, Amazon and Spotify and iHeart and all those places. Okay. Um, uh, I have a friend in Branson who who wrote a song called War Room after he saw the movie and allowed me to, to record it. So that's, that's my oh. new project. Okay. Um, and he actually sang and played on it with me. So I'm really proud of it. So I'm going to go to Nashville. Um, we're going to sit down, make a plan out. And then of course I just, I get on the phone and I, I call pastors and I reach out on Facebook. Facebook has been an awesome way to reach people that, that I, I don't know, you know, okay. we're, we're on Facebook, but you really yeah. don't know them. You haven't met them, but they Come see on. something you post and, and they like it and they join the group. And um, so word of mouth and, uh, yeah. And I mean, and, and, and the Northwest Arkansas community, I mean, it's fantastic. Once you start like getting out there, people are so willing to, you know, to share and to help and get involved. Right. Um, it's, it's the really hardest, good. the hardest, most difficult thing in Northwest Arkansas for me, um, I, my music is mainly Southern gospel. There's not mm -hmm. a Southern gospel radio station in Northwest Arkansas. Oh, okay. All right. So, so I, it that that does become difficult because I I don't have a market here where I can just say hey here's here's a new CD play it on your station because we don't have any here right so right, right, that's, right. Been, that's been a little difficult but hopefully this agent's going to help me out with that um so just in case anyone might be listening that you know may could either help with that or something else like what what's a major challenge that you're facing right now getting bookings just bookings. getting bookings. Yeah. 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 So anybody that might be able to either share something like this and let either churches or maybe other organizations that need, you know, your services or your skills um, to come, that would be helpful to you. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. All right. Um, well, where do you see yourself, you know, in the next six months to a year? Kind of what's your projection? My, my plan, my projection is, is to get back out on the road. Of course, COVID, you know, being lifted um, has made some, you know, is, is things will open back up and doors will begin to open for people to come. Concerts will be a thing again. So whether it's an outdoor event or whatever, I plan to hit the road. Um, I used to say, oh, one or two weekends a month. Now I'm saying five or six weekends a month. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> There's not, but I would do it five or six weekends a month because I just, I love it so much. And I really like it when I get an email or a, a note in the mail that said, you don't know me, but when you sang this song or when you shared this part of your story with us, it really meant a lot to me and gave me some hope. And, and when people reach out to me with, with their needs that I'm able to help, that's where it's at. Okay. It, it's not about being on a stage. It's not about being on a chart, which would be great, but no, you know, at my age, I only have a few, a few good years of this voice left. So, you know, I, I just, I just want to help people. Sure. And I want to, I want to give them hope. Sure. Yeah. Well, and I, this is the first time that you and I have, you know, met like this, but I mean, I think it is an inspiration because I mean, since you brought it up, uh, I think a lot of people that would be closer to your age would say, I don't have, you know, the time or the skills or, or maybe they do have the skills, but they just like, I don't know how to do that. I don't, I don't want to, you know, pursue that. But like, here you are 
making something happen that you one maybe never really thought would but i mean look at it so i i, I think it is a, it's a fantastic inspiration i think it's awesome one one thing that i i want to tell when you just it made me think of it when you said that yeah. um one of one of the things that i always thought you know oh it would be so neat if i could be able to do this but honestly i was i was a preacher's kid we we knew what we knew what commodities were powdered mm -hmm. milk you know but i didn't think we were poor because we had what we needed i was loved and taken care of sure. i don't remember going without even though i may have had homemade clothes i don't think of it like that i had a wonderful childhood i had a wonderful life growing up right. but now this year in november lord willing and covid then closes this up again i get to go to israel and sing um oh, wow. with with my agent with redemption world so this girl that grew up with nothing that moved to bella vista and just kept working uh, you know with her husband here i am bucket list this wasn't even on my bucket list to record some cds to go to israel to sing in jerusalem not even it, it wasn't even there so yes it you're never too old it's you're never you're never too poor you're there there's no there's nothing that if god has a plan for you and you work at it it mm -hmm. can happen and even if you don't work at it, it can happen and then you have to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this may not apply directly to you since this isn't something you were necessarily, you know, pursuing, but what tips or advice, you know, could you give to someone who is interested in, uh, you know, becoming a performer, uh, whether if it's for profit or nonprofit, kind of like you've gone through a lot of steps, you know, what advice or tips could you give to someone who's looking to do that? Practice, sing every day, if you play an instrument, play every day. Um, keep at it. Refine whatever talent that you have. Get it, get it, get it to be the best that you can be, and then just reach out to people and keep reaching out and send thank you notes. Mm -hmm. I can remember having having a, a Facebook conversation with with someone in Missouri that I didn't know. I took a leap of faith and said, I would love to be able to ask you some questions because of what you've done, because mm -hmm. of all the things that you've accomplished. Could mm -hmm. I buy you lunch? And yeah, they said, yeah. sure, I'll sure. give you an hour. So I met him in Monet, Missouri. We had lunch at some little cafe. And that's what he told me. He said, Every, everything that you do, as small as it may seem, send a thank you note. And so the first thing I did when I got home from that lunch, even though I bought lunch, I sent him a thank you card <laughs> for taking that hour to talk to me. And sure. that kept a communication going back and forth. He remembered that, that I listened, that I was doing some things that he told me to do, called the people that he, he encouraged me to call. So if, you, if, if people give you names to call, call them. Right. Follow up with a thank you note. People don't get stuff in the mail anymore. So when I get something in the mail, I appreciate it a whole bunch. <laughs> right. That's awesome advice. That's fantastic. Always follow through, keep following up, and never forget uh, to give that gratitude and appreciation. And I think yeah. specifically in the mail is definitely very effective, yeah. particularly these days. And don't let your head get big. Egos don't uh, work. Right. I, right. Egos and I, we just, you know, if I'm in the same room with ego, I leave. <laughs> 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 Understood. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sherry. Um, anything else that you just want to add or share before we wrap it up? Hey, everybody, have a great Memorial Day weekend. I don't know when this is going to air, but <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I'll get it out. It might be right after, but if so, I hope they still have a wonderful Memorial Weekend yeah. or had one. Um, and now let's just one more time, you know, shameless plug. How do they need to get in contact with you again uh, to either book your services or, or just to connect with you? They can go to www.sherryperry.com. They can go to Facebook. My personal one is Sherry Smith Perry. I have a Sherry Perry Ministries page and a Sherry Perry Ministries group. Okay. Um, you can also call me 479-544-0150 or text me. And shameless plug, here's my new CD. Fantastic, look at that. <laughs> you, can, you can look... Um, 
this weekend you can you can be looking for me on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, iHeart. Mm-hmm. Look at Sherry awesome. Perry YouTube. There's some YouTube stuff out there too. So on Instagram, Sherry 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 Perry. Sherry L. Perry, I think. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Well, um, thank you again. You know, this is 479 Spotlight and our mission is to provide free promotion to local businesses and nonprofits uh, or helping organizations here in Northwest Arkansas to give them more exposure and create more trust in the community. If you want to get notified of new interviews, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube by searching 479 Spotlight or by going to 479spotlight.com. If you are a business owner or a um, uh, nonprofit uh, I guess, organizer, uh, and would like to be featured, just schedule your interview on 479spotlight.com. Thank you for joining us today and keep having fun in WA. Thank you so much again, Sherry, for being here. Um, I'm going to close this up and then I'll talk to you again. Thanks, Brock.